Hello everyone. This is a small introduction to ordinary least squares. And in this case, we have only one x variable and we're going to use Stata to do this simple regression. Now, in an equation like this, the constant is picking up your intercept on the y-axis and the coefficient for the x variable is picking up the slope of this line, how x influences y. So y is your dependent variable and x is your independent variable. So we're trying to find out how does x affect the y variable. All right. Now, here we are going to look at two variables. One is the total number of children a household has. So let's summarize that. These are the number of observations and our mean number, average number of children in a household. The other variable we're going to use is mother's education. So this is education in single years. So this is the average number of uh, schooling that a mother has in this sample of ours. And we want to just see the effect of education on the total children that a woman has. Okay. A simple regression here of children on education. So what we see is uh, this is the slope coefficient and this is the intercept. Now we did not add constant here, but Stata by default adds a constant. Now what is this constant? Well, when you are running a regression, you are regressing y, which in this case is children, on education, which is the x variable. You're also running this on another x variable, which just takes the value of 1. So this is what the constant is. Constant is giving you a, when by default, Stata puts in another x, which is just 1s. It'll become more clear once we do that. Let's generate this constant ourselves and let's call this const. So this takes the value of 1. Now, the way we request Stata to run a regression without including a constant of its own, so we bypass the default here, no constant. So we see that there is no constant here. And what we want to do is we want to include our own x variable, right? And so we want to run this on v133 and the x variable which just takes the value of 1. Right. So what we see here is this is the intercept. Is this the same as when Stata put in the constant by default? And the answer is yes. So that's what Stata is doing. It is regressing children on v133, which is the education, and another x which just takes the value of 1. So let me just show this to you. So this is what it's doing. This is the dependent variable. It's running that on education and another x which just takes the value of 1. So the coefficient for this one is your intercept on the y-axis. Right? Do you want to see what happens when you just regress children on the constant we have created and ask Stata not to include a constant. So we are just running this on axis which takes the value of 1. Now use your a formula for coefficient sigma x y divided by sigma x i. So what is this really? Well, it's nothing but the mean. See that? All right. Cool, huh? All right, that's all for now.